hello students today we are going to start new chapter from paper number cha5403 and heading of the chapter is water pollution and analysis of polluted water so simply we will see the water pollution so these are the topics which are involved in our third chapter water pollutants wastewater treatment then again there are four types of treatments domestic water treatment aerobic water treatment anaerobic and industrial wastewater treatment these are the four treatments for the wastewater treatment then the purpose of the water analysis which is chemical analysis then sampling of water finding ph of water specific conductance determination of acidity and the alkalinity then cod bod dissolved oxygen turbidity and determination of aluminum arsenic boron cadmium such type of metals given here and uh, the total hardness of water then determination of the anionic detergents tannin and lignin from the waste order so this is our syllabus of third chapter so we will start with our first point water pollutants so there are types of waters three types of waters are here first one is the domestic industrial and last one is the storm water so domestic water is the water or the waste water by residential shop houses offices schools etc are generally included in the domestic waste water and in this uh, water from toilets sinks and bathrooms that can be included in the domestic waste water then the industrial waste water here industrial waste water which is generated by the industries mainly and the quantity and quality of the water which depends upon the type of industry the industry will be textile industry chemical industry pharmaceutical industry and so many types of industry industries are there and depending on the industry the waste water will be generated and third is the storm water in this rain water which may contain also some pollutants like the acid rain now the character characteristics or the physical characteristics of the waste water so first how to identify the waste water so color is the first parameter depends mainly on the waste water constituents so depending on the constituents the color will be different then order this is not significant if the aerobic treatment is there but when anaerobic waste water which releases hydrogen sulfide smell which is like a rotten eggs h2s like smell will come to the water when there is a anaerobic waste water then third point is the temperature higher than water temperature due to the microbiological activities when the temperature is greater this is due to the microbiological activities then last point is turbidity so the stability is due to the solid suspended particles and these particles are from clay sand human waste and the plant fibers so these are the physical characteristics 
color will be different, order will be different, temperature will be highly greater and the turbidity is observed. So, this is the characteristics of the waste water. Now, the pollutants. The pollutants are the substances which are added when into the environment, they will cause the harmful effects. So, this as we know the pollution will be different types like water pollution, soil pollution, air pollution, noise pollution and so on. So, simply the pollution causes due to the pollutants. So, pollutants are here for the water analysis. The organic pollutants are there, some pollutants are inorganic and some are biological pollutants. So, we will see one by one in this lecture. So, organic compounds, the compounds which mainly contains the carbon atom. And this carbon atom is in combination with one or more elements. And sources of organic compounds are the naturally occurring synthetic and some are from fermentation processes. So, in the nature, the sources of organic compounds are the fibers, vegetable oils, animal oils and fats, cellulose, starch and the sugar. Then synthetically produce organic materials which have uh, various varieties are there, wide variety of compounds are there and materials prepared by manufacturing processes. For example, DDT, polyvinyl chloride that is a PVC. And uh, last point is the source is the fermentation. The alcohols can be prepared by the fermentation process, then acetone, glycerol, some antibiotics and some acids. So, all these are the sources of the organic compounds. So, we will see now the organic pollutants. So, this pollutants enter into the waste water system through the domestic sewage, industrial sewage from paper mills and other factories like pharmaceutical factories, textile industries and so on. So, these organic pollutants are in other forms also like carbohydrates and proteins first point is this. So, household waste water or the household waste sewage and the vegetable materials are important contributor of the carbohydrates and the proteins which are present in the waste water. So, simply household sewage and the vegetable waste, these are the main parts. Then the oils, so water soluble and the insoluble oil causes the oil pollution in water. Again, oil is the main point. Then next is the aldehyde, acetaldehyde, benzaldehyde and the formaldehydes. This causes the odor in the water that inhibit the algal growth that is algae cannot grow when the aldehydes were mixed into the water and this become toxic to fishes and other aquatic life, other aquatic organisms. Then next organic source is the aromatic hydrocarbons. Here aromatic hydrocarbons generally used into the lubricants, plasticizers and the dielectricals. And in animals specifically affect the central nervous system and the respiratory tract. Then the last organic compounds are the phenolic compounds. It produces bitter taste in water. So, simply these are the five sources of the organic pollutants, carbohydrate and proteins, oils, aldehydes and the 
aromatic hydrocarbons that is PCB and the phenolic compounds. So, these are the five sources of the organic pollutants. Now, we will see the inorganic compounds or inorganic pollutants. So, definition of inorganic compounds are when this inorganic compounds are placed with the water, these compounds get dissociated into the electrically charged atoms. For example, take NaCl, when it is dissolved in the water, it will come Na plus plus Cl minus. So, simply electrically charged atoms referred to as ions and these all ions are linked in the ionic bonds. And the sources of the inorganic pollutants are, it may cover the heavy metals nutrients which contains nitrogen and phosphorus, then the alkalinity, chlorides, sulfur and other inorganic pollutants, then the fertilizers which are mixed with water, then the uh, hardness of water, this is come due to the calcium 2 plus, magnesium 2 plus, so all these are the inorganic pollutants and last pa part is the biological pollutants. So, the biological characteristics or the biological pollutants we are going to see here. The principal groups of the microorganisms found in wastewater are the bacteria, fungus, protozoans microscopic plants and the animals and the viruses. So, these viruses will be either harmful or the useful. So, most microorganisms that is bacteria or protozoa are responsible and are beneficial for the biological treatment processes of wastewater. And Pathogenic organisms are usually excreted from the human body, uh, from the gastrointestinal tract and discharged to the wastewater. So, these pathogens will be harmful. Then the waterborne diseases include chloria, typhoid, paratyphoid fever and the diarrhea. And the number of pathogenic organisms in the wastewater is it generally low in density and they are difficult to isolate and identify. Therefore, indicator bacteria such as total coliform that is TC and the fecal coliform that is FC are used as an indicator organism. So, simply the biological characteristics or the biological pollutants here we have seen what are the biological characteristics. So, simply it contains the microorganisms, bacteria, fungus, protozoans and viruses. Out of them some microorganisms are helpful, some microorganisms are the harmful. And here pathogens which are excreted from the human gastrointestinal tract, when these are discharged into the wastewater, again this will spread so many diseases. Then due to this the waterborne diseases comes like chloria, typhoid, paratyphoid fever and diarrhea and so on. So, this is again one reason of the water pollution. So, for this there are so many water treatments that is called wastewater treatments. So, domestic wastewater treatment, aerobic treatment process anaerobic treatment process and the industrial wastewater treatment. These four water treatments are there for the treatment of a wastewater by organic pollutants, inorganic pollutants and the microorganisms or the biological pollutants. So, we will see this point to the next lecture.